Hi everybody, it's Jeff Setzer from GSC again. I know a lot of us are working from home in our home offices, probably using a laptop and probably not having as many monitors as we're used to in our company desktop. There are some ways to work more efficiently in Windows 10 with multiple applications and even give yourself a little bit of virtual monitor real estate. So let's take a look at some of the techniques we can use to make ourselves more efficient as we continue to work from home. First of all, you can use Alt-Tab to switch application windows for every app that's currently running on your desktop. This makes it easy to switch from one app to another and lets you have them all running at full screen and just toggle from one to the next. Remember that cut, copy, and paste work across these windows as well. So you can just go ahead to one application, grab the stuff you want, copy it to the Windows clipboard with a Control C, for example, and then just drop it into a destination application with a control V. Easy peasy. Many people seem to know about all tab and managing multiple applications on a single desktop. But what a lot of people don't realize is that Windows 10 allows you to have virtual desktops as many as you want. And we're gonna take a look at how to do that next. Have you ever noticed this little icon in your taskbar right next to the Windows icon on the far left? This is called the task view and clicking on it or using the Windows tab keys will reveal some cool stuff. At the top of the task view window, you will see if you're currently running applications at the very top, you'll see a button called new desktop and that's where the fun begins. Click on that new desktop button and boom, you just create a new desktop for yourself, a virtual monitor if you will. I can use whatever applications I want and move them on that virtual monitor or that desktop by just dragging. And once I have that done, it acts just like I have two monitors. So if I want to bring up a new application, say for a little graphics work, I'll bring up paint.net, a nice free tool that anybody can use on Windows. This application will be launched on this second virtual desktop because that was the one that was active. If I Alt-Tab between apps, you can see that I only have those two apps on my desktop because I'm on desktop number two. If I click into desktop number one, you can see now that I have my original apps there but my PowerPoint is no longer in the list because I moved that to my second virtual desktop or virtual monitor if you wanna think of it that way. I'm gonna bring up the free Windows snipping tool. I'm gonna to grab a screenshot of this product in the 3D Experience platform. And what I wanna actually do is copy this and paste it to an app in another desktop. Control Windows right arrow or left arrow will let me slide directly to my next adjacent virtual monitor. So I can go into my paint.net and drop in the graphic that I copied from the other desktop, virtual desktop. So now that I'm in paint.net, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the magic wand to select all the pixels of the same or very close to the same color value and delete those pixels in those selections, basically knocking out the background, of course, It'll take me a few moments of careful selection here in my post-processing tool, in this case, paint.net. If I did this right inside of uh, 3D experiences, uh, visualization, rendering tools, or SolidWorks Composer, or SolidWorks Visualize, of course I could knock out the background and include the alpha channel right off, but this is not too bad. So we'll go ahead and knock all that out. Now I'm gonna just copy it all, and then Alt-Tab to other app, same desktop, and then paste it. So now I've got my graphic on my title page, and you've seen how I'm able to move not only from applications on the same desktop, but also applications between virtual desktops. So I hope some of these tips and tricks help you to get more out of the screen real estate that you have in your home office. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe.